This video is about the CMF <coughs> error term, which by definition is equal to the difference between y and the conditional mean of y given x. So just to think about it, concrete example, let's imagine using uh, m for our conditional mean function. Imagine m of 0 is 0.2, m of 1 equals 0.3, and the marginal probability that x equals 1 is 0.6. So we could think about making a table of all the possible values of these different random variables. Oops. So x, uh, we'll assume both x and y are binary in this case. So then we just have four possibilities in terms of x and y. Now, m of x just depends on x, so if x is 0, m of x is 0.2. If x equals 1, then m of x is 0.3. And now for v, because v is defined as y minus m of x, we can just do the subtraction. So in the first row, 0 minus 0.2, we got negative 0.2. Uh, for the second row, we'll get 1 minus 0.2 or 0.8. And 0 minus 0.3, negative. 0.3 and 1 minus 0 0.3, 0 0.7. So you can see this v, this CMF error term, is a random variable in the sense that it can take different possible values and there's some probabilities associated with each value. And just to emphasize in hopes of avoiding some confusion that I had as a student, this is just by definition. So more commonly you might see somebody say, I'm going to write out a CMF model in error form like this. But when they do that, if they say explicitly this is a CMF model, they mean that this V is being defined in this particular way. And what that assumption, if we do some math that's in the book, but I won't do it here, what that assumption does is it ensures that uh, the mean of v given any possible x is equal to zero. And we could also write um, made it out that way. And if you, uh, it's not actually extra credit, but you know, pretend extra credit, you could try to see if you can uh, figure that property out in this example. Um, as a hint, since y is binary, then the conditional mean of y is the same as the conditional probability that y equals 1. So for example, this 0.2 here means there's a 0.2 probability that y equals 1 given x equals 0. Uh, so you can kind of see how that's going to get these guys to cancel out. Anyway, you don't really need to worry about those details. Um, but that's just a property we got by definition of the CMF error term. Uh, it's not some extra assumption we need to think about.